Andiamo! Più svelto! Faster! Faster! Pure! Here at last, there was no need to run away from me. <laughs> Come. <laughs> Don't be scared. Aha, uh -huh, we're going to be good friends. No! Aha! Uh -huh, no! Stop pulling in your cheeky little boy! Go! Oh! 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 Ah! How dare you do like this? You'll soon regret it. They don't call me Madame Death for nothing. Ah, ah. Ah, ah. Just one swing of my scythe, and he won't exist! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, that boy's incredible. I'm very impressed with what he did to her, challenging death. Oh, what I could do with someone like that. Mm. Why, he could help me out a lot. Hey, hey, put your scythe down now. Oh, taking him from behind, eh? You should be ashamed of yourself. Hold on tight, little one. <laughs> Off we go. Out of my way, Grandma. Ah, ah, what's this? Don't tell me you're helping him, Mother Holly. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, go away, oh, go. oh, no. Without my scythe, I'm helpless. <laughs> oh. Why should I? Oh. My dear cousin Death, I am helping you in my own way. But little Jacob belongs to me. You see? Up and down, snow, fly down to earth! <laughs> fly down and cover every inch of the earth! <gasps> oh, Jacob, where are you? Shirking your work again? I'm here, Mother Holly! Here I come! <laughs> oh, good boy! You learn fast, don't you? Come on! Run around! Now. No. 
Let's have a look down there. Tell me, Mother Holly, why does it snow just in some countries? It's one of the secrets of nature. I'd like it to snow in a country where the sun always shines. Do it, please. You can do the impossible. Yes, but there's no reason. Why should I do such a thing? Oh, it will be such fun. Do it for me, huh? Don't you realize what confusion it would cause if I did such a thing, my child? Please, please. Mm. Uh. All right. <laughs> oh, now look what we've done. Hey, Jacob, why they've never seen snow, they're scared. I think I should make it snow where snow is useful and necessary. Here's a place where the snowfall will cover the land so it may rest, and so in summer, corn can grow once again, and people can make their bread and feed themselves and their children. What are they doing there? The children? Playing in the snow. you can, dear, but nothing stupid you understand. Hmm. Aren't they beautiful? Look, look. <laughs> they look very happy, don't they, Mother Holly? Are lots of people happy like that? Yes, for a while. Now it's time for your nap, Elizabeth. <laughs> now go to sleep, my dear. I want to grow up too. But why? Before I became a fairy tale, I too was a human being like them. Humans get old very quickly, and it's all over in the wink of an eye. Oh, was I a human too once? Yes, although you had the very good fortune of not having to stay a human being for too long a time, Jacob. Is it a misfortune to be a human? Why? Because one day they all die. Oh, Enough chatter, back to work. Oh, again. <laughs> now, if you make a real effort, before you know it, we'll have one of the biggest snowstorms ever. Oh, I thought you were going to create a spring breeze. That's what you wanted. What would I do without you? If I didn't have you around, dear Jacob, I'd have forgotten about spring. You know that? It's about time, too. We'll send out a warm current of air. Nature will reawaken, and you and I can rest. You see, Jacob... The earth has been asleep till now under its white blanket. Wait, I know that song. Oh, it's Elizabeth. Oh, hmm. Oh, she's so much bigger now. Just wait, I've got a surprise for you. Look out. Uh, a snowball? Hey, that hurts. That's crazy. It's not winter anymore. Uh, Where did it come uh, from? It's spring now. All the snow's melting. Jacob, I think you're up to mischief. What in the world have you done now? Nothing. Then tell me, who has just thrown a snowball on little Elizabeth's head? You should know better than to confuse people like that. It's spring. Nothing escapes you, Grandma. I see everything. I can read your thoughts, too. You would like to go and climb the tower now. And so I'm locking it up for your own good, Jacob, you know. Believe me, you're much better off right here. Is that the way to Earth? Don't you even dare consider it. It could cost you your life. Oh! Mother Holly, are you asleep? I 
only want to cover you up so you don't get cold. Lie down as well. I should never climb. Oh, must be hiding some sort of secret. But what? I guess this is something you're supposed to look through. But I can't see anything. <sighs> this place could do with some tidying up. What a mess it is in here. I wonder where the broom is. Oh, it's horrible. Dirt and cobwebs. Oh! Oh, so bright! It's so nice out here. Welcome back to Earth, Jacob. <sighs> oh, I'm on Earth again! Oh, my shirt feels so tight. It's, it's tight because I'm on Earth and I'm growing. <sighs> I'm a human being. I'm a human being. A human being. And can you tell me how this shirt came to Earth? Ah, jumping to conclusions, as you always do, Madam Death. He may have thrown it away. Yes, perhaps he threw it down the chimney. There's no need to get excited. How do you know it even belongs to him? Mm, sure, sure. You'd better check to see if he's wearing a shirt right now. Stop that. Have you forgotten the boy is sleeping? Today, he decided to send his shirt down to Earth, and next time he'll send himself, I can assure you. Oh, oh he'd never do that to me. Oh, for your sake, I hope not. You understand? If he does get out of your clutches and become a human being, it'll be my turn to step in again. I remember what he did to me very well. Who knows what trick he'll play on me next time. And don't think I've forgotten that you helped him last time. You, you need... needn't worry. I'll see that he stays here. Hmm. I'll make certain he never grows up. I'd say the boy's already grown. Boo! Ah! Ah! Oh, not again! He's impossible. He'll be the death of me. Why, that boy's a menace. A public menace. And I'll have revenge. Just wait and see. <laughs> You're fooling yourself. He's grown. No, he hasn't. He has. He's looked out of the world. You really don't know what you say. <laughs> Come on. I'll help you up. Than the two of us put I confess you're right. He did have a short look out of the tower window. He did. Oh, that's awful. Oh, see when it doesn't happen again. Where's my tiara? There. There you are. All right. 
Now, listen for a second. I wanted the ladders taken away ages ago, really. Only... You need my assistance. I'll help you. Nothing would give me more pleasure. You had better be careful. There are valuable instruments up there. Admit you destroy everything you touch. Don't worry. I'll take care of everything. That's what I'm worried about. <laughs> I'm sure I'm going to regret this. <laughs> I said don't worry. I'll be ever so careful. <laughs> No, it's your clumsiness and not your side. You've got to destroy the entire tower. The two ladders weren't enough. Forgive me, please. I'm sorry. I honestly don't know what's come over me. I merely wanted to lend a hand. Oh. Hmm. Oh. What can I do to make up for this? Don't do anything. Buster. I think you've done enough. Here, take this. And go. I really meant well. I aimed the scythe correctly. I gave it the correct swing. I don't know what went wrong. One more reason to hate this. destroy it? It was so pretty. Hmm, pretty. <laughs> oh, you're impossible. The more you grow, the more you make me cross. I forbid you to grow any more, not even an inch. Hmm. I am Mother Holly. And look what I'm doing because you've grown. I'm a seamstress. Oh! <laughs> and on top of that, you laugh at me. Be grateful that I allow you to have a glance at the earth now and then. I'm here, Father. Your mother wants to speak to you. Go inside. Yes, Father. Mommy. Elizabeth. Obey your father. He only wants what is good for you. Yes, Mommy. Elizabeth, I must go. She's waiting to take me to God. Now do you understand, Jacob, why I didn't want you to become human again? I'm a big, strong boy. Her side doesn't frighten me. Ah, at the moment, it's you that frightens her. Where is she? She disappeared. Ah, I don't know. She flits around the world. Who knows where she's swinging her scythe now? Ah, just let her come. Death is here, and she's there. Let me give Elizabeth a little present, a rainbow. I'll produce one, Jacob, if you like. Ah, you're very attached to little Elizabeth, I realize that. Oh, she's lovely, yes, but only a human being all the same. Per misericordiam dei requiescant in pace. Oh, 
all the time. Elizabeth, don't cry. Don't be sad. Elizabeth, look. Everyone is looking for you. Come on, wake up. Uh, oh. Oh, Dora. It's your turn to pull. Come on, forward march. All right, Dora. Faster, faster, Elizabeth. It's very difficult to console her. She's too sad even to notice me. Only one thing can lessen her sadness, that's time. She'll grow up and then she'll forget. Will she grow older than me? Much older. You'll always stay a boy and one day you'll console all of Elizabeth's children. And her grandchildren. No, I want to console Elizabeth. That's impossible, dear. You would have to grow like her, and then you'd die like all human beings. It doesn't matter. I want to grow up and marry her, too. <laughs> you don't know what you're saying, my dear. You're a baby and you speak like a man. Now that is very naughty. I'm not a baby. I'm 20 years old. Yes, but how do you happen to know? I've been counting. Simple. Alas, your counting has been in vain. <laughs> Eternity reigns here and time has no meaning. You see, time passes on Earth, not here. I'm drinking That is a wedding. You see, Jacob, your Elizabeth's father has just married again. But where's Elizabeth? Ah, uh, there. Can't you see? She's in the corner, peeling potatoes. You don't recognize her anymore? Don't be silly, of course I did. She's really grown up. Can't you peel any faster? She seems so sad. They've given Elizabeth the dirtiest job to do. May thunder and lightning strike the place at once. Jacob, don't you dare. Then at least bring her mother back to life. That, dear, is not in our power. Oh, no, we'll see. Ungrateful wretch! You're spoiling your father's wedding. Is that what you want? Don't You're supposed to obey your dear father. Your mother told you to. What's going on here? Has someone hurt you? No, it's nothing. I only want you to, to be happy. And I'm happy only when you are, my dear. Now, come, come, come. Everything's all right now. Blockhead. <laughs> <laughs> It's all so unjust. I can't bear that. Yes, human beings are often like that. Another reason for you to stay with me, dearest Jacob. <laughs> Elizabeth is a burden, don't you think? She's so... so awkward. 
She might not be up to the task. We could hire a maid, even two. Find a good maid? You're joking. Yes, that's very true. Elizabeth can do with a bit of experience. It won't do her any harm, will it? It's a good way for her to learn. That's exactly what I say. Ah, oh, we'll make her grind corn. And she'd better do it well. You look up here for help, but you can't see me. I want so much to help you. If only I could find a way of coming to you. Falcon! Carry me to her! with the winds for years and now look where you end up fly fly my little dove are you asleep mother holly Gratitude. You know I was depending on you to help me when I got old, and what do you do, sneak away? What do you mean, old? You'll never grow old! You'll stay as you are throughout eternity! I'll bet you think you're smart, don't you? <laughs> but I'm smarter. Just wait. I'm going to send you right home, you'll see, like this. With a wind that'll turn you upside down, you'll beg me to come back. Why, you stole my bed cover. Think you're so smart now, do you, Jacob? Now, hold on ever so tightly. Get ready to do a few somersaults. I'm sorry I couldn't see you all. Bye. Help! Help! Oh, stop! I can't take any... I hurt all over! Oh, my God. It feels so bad, then. Help me! I'm growing! Look, Mother Holly, I'm a man now! A man! Oh. Do you hear me? <laughs> I'm a man! Hey-ho! Hey-ho! 
Then fly away, my boy, and have a safe journey. I don't believe it! I'm a man heading for the Earth! Since you must leave me, I'll give you a favorable wind to carry you. Farewell! Go where your heart tells you. Be happy, my boy. <laughs> thank you, thank you for everything. At last on Earth again. Here, I think. Yes, this is the game. All I want is to go inside. Good dog. You needn't be afraid. I'm a human being. That's all. Good day. Huh. Hmm. Hey, isn't anyone here? Oh, oh this looks delicious. It tastes awful. I'd better drink a little. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Elizabeth. Jacob. Jacob? I don't know any Jacob. Well, you see, I come from heaven. <laughs> you wear strange clothes up there, I guess. Strange? That's not the only strange thing up there. Uh, I think I might stay here. <laughs> what are you doing? Grinding flour. You have to grind it. That's hard work. Well, if you know a simpler method, then perhaps you can share it with a poor earthling <laughs> like me. Relax now, Elizabeth, while I think of something. I'm very good at ideas, you know. Oh, oh. <laughs> ah. Now go to sleep, my dears. A young man will be the fairest. He'll come when you're a big girl, and he'll say... Who's singing? Be mine, and you're too hard for him to It's fun. <laughs> <laughs> There's a young man with her. Where did you learn that song? Come on! I learned it from you, but I can't remember the melody. <laughs> Why? Ah, your stepmother. So you just left anyone at all in. What is this young man doing here? Where is he from? From heaven. From heaven? <laughs> <laughs> Making fun of me, hey? You're going to pay for that. I'll Wait. teach you a lesson. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> You'll live to regret this. You'll see. Oh. oh! Do you realize that I'm the judge's wife? And I'm Jacob! Oh. Calm down! Why do you get so angry? It destroys your beauty. Oh. Look in the mirror! Ah. Ah. Oh. Take it easy! If I reach you, I'll slap your face! Oh. Ah. Just wait until I get my hands on you! Come down if you're a man! <laughs> on second thoughts, anger makes you prettier! Huh? <laughs> Good day, judge! What's going on here? Who's that? I am your new servant, sir. No, he isn't. Why not? you got a job, son. You must have been sent to us from heaven. Good day, Father. You guessed right. How did you know? <laughs> Get him some other clothes, dear. 
Go on. It looks like Mother Holly's found a job for me. She's shaking out her bedding. <laughs> well, it's time to go to work. Here we go. <laughs> yes, yes, I know. I used to create snow this way. <laughs> All right up there? Enough shaking for today. Stop your shaking. Enough, huh? Good morning, Jacob. Who was it you were talking to just now? Good morning, Elizabeth. Who do you think with Mother Holly? Do you mean to say you actually know her? You don't really believe I came from heaven. Only yesterday I was creating snow with her, uh -huh. and today I'm sweeping it up. Isn't that incredible? Everything you say is incredible. I may not believe you, but I love listening. <laughs> Tell me a little about her. What does she look like? Well, I don't know how to describe her. Perhaps she'll show herself. Mother Holly, come and show yourself. She's a little shy. Watch me. I'll make her out of snow. Come on. Help me. Come on. <laughs> there. That's it. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Your mother Holly is funny looking. Don't say that too loudly. Uh, She'll be furious. Can't she hear us? Mother Holly hears everything. Really? Now that's the truth. <laughs> In that case, she must have big ears. <laughs> What's that? I told her she'd be angry. Hey, that's not very nice of you. Well, you're acting like Madame Death. Uh, now, let's see. Uh, you know Madame Death as well? Yes, a lovely little old maiden aunt. Except for her side, of course. Did you hear that? Christmas will be here soon. I think going out catching some fish wouldn't be a bad idea, darling. Only I've heard that there's a pack of wolves hovering about the fish pond. Well, then, in that case, we can send Jacob. Mm, isn't that a bit risky? He'll know what to do, don't worry. Wolves! <laughs> Nothing again. That's a disaster. Look who's here. <laughs> well, are the fish biting? Not one up to now. <laughs> I've got a reward for your efforts anyway, lunch. You think we deserve it? We better eat a lot while we can. Fill up our stomachs. If we don't catch anything, I can assure you the judge is going to put us both in prison. And then we won't eat for quite a long while. Don't worry, my father's a just man. He wouldn't do that. He doesn't like sending people to prison. He is just. That I grant you. Yes, but even just men commit errors sometimes. Especially when someone whispers in his ear. And I'm sure you know who I mean. <laughs> <laughs> What's that in your belt, son? A huh? flute. Give us a song. Hey, go on. Mm -hmm. I only play lullabies. Well, then, let me try waking the fish. <laughs> There's one. Look. <gasps> Holy Mother of God. Uh, oh, and another. Oh. You came. Go on. That's a miracle. Got enough for the whole parish. <laughs> they're not biting, they're jumping. Come and dance. I don't know how. I don't either. <laughs> dance. Go on. Jacob, are you asleep? Very soundly. And I was having a wonderful dream. Mm. You aren't too cold? Cold? Impossible. I've got Mother Holly's eternal blanket. Warm fraternity. There's room for two of us. 
Wolves, I'm afraid, aren't you? Of wolves, huh? But what is a wolf anyway? You and your jokes. Now tell me the truth. Where do you come from? Uh -huh. <laughs> ah, Jacob, can't you try and be serious for once? Anyway, I'm glad you're here. You brought good luck too. Some good luck. Giddy up! Oh, save us, Holy Mother of God! Look! Wolf! Been thrown out of my bed. Whoa. Hey, not even the saints can save us from wolves. So that's what a wolf is. They must be terribly hungry, imagine. I'm an old man. They can have me. Run! Run as fast as you can. And I'll try and hold them here. Look, that's pretty courageous. But let me handle this. Are you sure? Elizabeth, go back. And you! Don't worry. Elizabeth, hurry! They'll tear you to pieces! <laughs> Listen, wolves. Madam Death wants to feed you with my bones. <laughs> Come with me. I've got something better for you. Not so fast. <laughs> careful, careful. Come on, we're nearly there. Three things you want. Let me go. I'm trying to very tasty. Look at me. I'm not an old witch. No, I can be very beautiful. You know that. <sighs> Let me go now. Beautiful or not, you're still death and you're after me, huh? Let me go. Let me go. Otherwise, they'll eat both of us alive. Please, let me go. They won't obey me anymore. Ah, let me go. I'll fight them with my side. Stand fast. Show me what you can do. Go on. <laughs> now they'll get what they deserve. Just watch me. Well done, Madam Death, but next time, stay out of my way. I can still lead you by the nose. <laughs> it was you. I'd completely forgotten about that. When one is as old as I am, one's memory sometimes fails. Don't think you've won the final round. We shall meet again. Your wolves have very nice coats of fur. Thank you for the generous gift. You haven't heard the last of me! I don't understand. Look at you. How could such a thing happen? You look like a child who's been fighting. Jacob, you're safe. Come closer, Jacob. Don't be shy. Look at him. He's chopped an enormous pile of wood, caught enough fish for the entire village, and he managed to escape the wolves. When they were trying to attack him. It's the other way wrong. I attacked the wolves. <laughs> <laughs> he loves to joke like that. Be careful. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> Did you hurt yourself? No, a brave lad like you can afford to joke. All right. Now that we've all had a nice laugh, it's time for the gifts, isn't it? Dora. Oh, yes, yes, the presents. I hope you like these. Oh. And this, too. A scarf. And my little gift for the whole family is out in the courtyard. Oh, how beautiful. I don't really, believe Jack, it. These look are at them. wonderful furs. Oh, look over there. Oh, they must be worth a fortune. A gift that's so original and so priceless. It's incredible. Worth it's a fortune. It's so precious. I've got a gift for you. Open it. Only I wanted to give it to you when we were alone. A flute. A magic flute. What can I give you, then? Nothing, nothing at all. You've already given me a lot. This, at least. <laughs> I... I wish...
wish this moment would last forever and ever, Jacob. Don't say that. I wish for this moment to pass. So we can live hundreds of others even better. And that's why I ran away from eternity to come here. We made a very wise move engaging Jacob as a servant. He's skillful and inventive. It won't be long before he's very rich and he would make a wonderful son-in-law. You think so? <laughs> Have you noticed what fun I'm having down here on Earth, Mother Holly? I'm so happy I can't even sleep. Hmm. Yes, I see. I guess you're right. A bit of sleep wouldn't hurt. Good night. Don't rejoice too soon. One must fight for one's happiness. Be more careful. Now you spoiled the flax. I didn't mean to. The blade is so sharp. Uh, I'm not stupid enough to think it was intentional. Wash the flax in the well and see that you don't take all day. Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Oh, Dora is so clever. I wonder who'll be lucky enough to marry her. He won't regret it, whoever he is, I know. Help yourself. I think I'll leave the two of you alone, all right? Dora, you know how to act. Now, be good, huh? You see how he's looking at you? I'd better go now. <laughs> Heavens above, Madam Death is around. <gasps> Elizabeth, run away! Jacob! Let her go, you old wish! Let her go! I didn't even have to trip her this time. He's got quick reactions, hasn't he? Oh, he doesn't uh, want me, he wants her! He wants you if she weren't around, I'm sure. I'm warning you, stay away from her, Madam Death. Oh! <laughs> I'll teach her another lesson. Calm down, don't worry. You know, someone else might catch her. Be careful. Why are you up? <coughs> Go to bed. You've caught cold, too. I'm feeling fine. Good, all the better. Do your spinning, then, if you're well. However, you must stay here. I've given the peacocks to our servant to tend. I want this finished by tonight. Guess who? Uh. <laughs> uh. Look in here. I baked these just for you. <laughs> What, you can bake? I don't believe it. Here. Thank you. Oh, they smell so good. I already ate half of them on the way. But if you don't want any, I'd be more than happy to eat your half as well. They're so delicious. It's the circus! The circus is here! And I've got something for you. A girl with a name. Elizabeth. 
for you. What did he say? He's inviting us for tonight. Oh. And he wants Elizabeth to be there. Hmm. Arrivederci! Here we go. Arrivederci! Via, via! Open the door, Elizabeth. I can't, Jacob. My stepmother is locked me in. And you shouldn't stay out there. I know if she sees you, she'll punish you. She's forbidden me even to speak to you. Elizabeth. Oh, how did you... But the door was locked. Not for me. Elizabeth, let's go outside and get some fresh air. What do you say? And what if my stepmother finds out? Don't worry. Nobody's in the house. They've all gone to the circus. Open the window. What? Open it. Go on. Get a draft going. More. Hoppla! <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> it's blowing harder and harder. <laughs> Hold on tight. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> you look very relaxed. Aren't you frightened? No. Not with you. Signorita, <laughs> we'll do a series of exciting summersaults for you. How about another? Here goes. Lolita, like the angels in heaven. In the evening they die, in the morning they come alive again. Hovering between heaven and look earth. Look up there! They're flying! They're flying! And now our next sensational act. <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. oh. Uh, uh, uh. They're completely crazy. They'll break their necks up there. Don't forget, you said he's very skillful. That's going a bit too far. He must be mad. Oh, 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 my friend. Oh, my gosh. How is it he can fly? He can do anything. He's a king. Elizabeth, have you got your flowers with you? <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> he wants to show us a beautiful spot. Is it a long journey? Is it a long journey? Oh, let's leave it to him. He wants it to be a surprise. Yes, you're right, my boy. Abracadabra! <laughs> <laughs> Look down, children. Down there, you'll find the happiness you're seeking. This is where we'll live. So far away from father. He can come and visit us. We'll build a flour mill for the whole village. A mill? What about water? Well, there's water in the earth. And heaven will send us wind. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we stay here? I don't know. Let's stay here, please. We can settle down here, just you and I. Stark raving mad. Look at what you've done. It's 
not Jacob's fault, Father. Hush, if you knew what's good for you, why, you're lucky you didn't end up like this. Jacob is responsible for this. You were in charge of them. And you let them starve for days, probably. <laughs> Somebody must have killed them, and I, I think I know who did it. I killed the peacocks. Is that what you are insinuating? Oh, now, that is gratitude for you. We took you in, nearly gave you Dora as a wife. But now we know what you're capable of. We're not fooled anymore. Get out and take your bed cover with you. you I wouldn't me? marry oh. you if you were the here last man on earth. Don't ever show your face here again. I don't need you. Don't ever come near this house again. And I don't need your house. I'm going to build my own. And I don't need your silly daughter. I'll be coming back for Elizabeth. a month you've managed to build half your house. Yeah, the problem is the well. I haven't struck water yet. How is Elizabeth? I've told the judge how hard you're working on the house and how well. He's stern, all right, but he's fair. He's bound to give it to you. If he gives it to me, that's fine, but if not, I'll have to take it anyway. Here, you must be thirsty. Thank you. How can I ever repay you? Oh, forget it. I've got something. It's very pretty. It sparkles. Do you want it? There's really no need. Hmm. Hope you like it. And please make sure to say hello to Elizabeth. This is gold. I can't accept this. It's much too valuable. He's got gold. You won't forget to give her my love. I promise, I promise. Gold. Where did you find this? Right here in the well. I dug it up myself. Perhaps there's more down here. Hey, I found another treasure. The same kind? No, a more valuable one. Water. Oh, I've struck water. <laughs> what a lucky fellow you I'm are. I've done it. <laughs> Look how it's gushing. <laughs> Dora, just look at how skillful Elizabeth is. She could teach you a thing or two. Yes, yes. I know. Stop that. Mm. She bakes so well. <sighs> All right. We should help her, too. We shall dust the cake with sugar. I love sugar. <laughs> no. Oh. <laughs> the sugar's like snow. <laughs> You do spoil me. You haven't spared the sugar. Stepmother and Dora sprinkled it on for you. You wouldn't recognize them. They've changed so much. I wonder. <laughs> they might have sprinkled poison on these. Oh. But if they had, Madame Death would be around. It doesn't matter. Since she's not here, we can eat to our oh. heart's content. Oh. If I play the flute, it might wake us up. Look, she's playing. Yes, she's still playing. But they've eaten the sugar. And they're falling asleep. Yes, yes, they're asleep already. Look. Let's throw them both in the well. No, just Elizabeth, not Jacob, silly goose. Whatever he touches turns to gold. Uh, With her out of the way, he'll be yours. Oh. I can use this. Here, help me. Ah. We should wrap her in it. We'll leave her clothing so he doesn't miss her. I don't understand. Don't worry, you will. This time he won't rescue her. Uh -oh. <laughs> She's fast asleep and so heavy. Yes, you'd think she was dead. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. The wind is so strong all of a sudden. Uh hurry, hurry. <laughs> You stupid child! Oh. Do you want to sleep too? Oh. Why 
Yeah, you making the wind blow so violently, Cousin Holly. Don't tell me that you want to save the girl. She's mine! Let her drown in the well. Stop blowing! Stop it, I say! Here is my verdict. Each party maintains the sheep is his. This problem can only be resolved in the following way. An equal part for each of you. We shall cut the sheep in half. That is my decision. And an excellent one, Your Honor. Right, no, then. Your Honor. Let her have the whole sheep in that case. I don't want it Hold killed. On. Let's go. That's proof that you raised it. You don't want it killed, it's yours. And you call you that justice, quiet. do you? Come quickly. Oh, you see that our judge is truly a man of justice. He's not taken in that easily. No one pulls the wool over his eyes. Elizabeth has disappeared. Perhaps she was caught up in the storm. Let's go out and look for her. Did you hear that? It's the judge's daughter. We must find her before nightfall. Elizabeth! 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 We don't know if she was even here. She must have been here. I saw the cake she baked in there. And her basket is there, too. She could have fallen into the well. Let's search her. Curious, there was plenty of water in it a while ago, and now it's all dry. Hey! Hey! Pull! Elizabeth isn't here! Hey! Hey, wake up! What's happened to Elizabeth? What are you talking about? She was here. Tell me what happened to her. Why hasn't she come back home? We were eating what she had baked, and suddenly I fell asleep. And so she left, huh? Completely naked? Why completely naked? I advise you not to play the innocent now. Oh, what is this, huh? It's Elizabeth's, isn't it? You see? What have you done to Your her? Honor, arrest him. Let me through. You're Watch doing me an injustice, sir. Let me go. Let me look for her. Don't let him get away. Tie him up tightly. The rest of you, look for her. Light the lantern. Spread out into the forest. Elizabeth! You're protecting her, Cousin Holly, but I can wait. In the end, everyone has to die. My hour will come. Ah, uh, Elizabeth, wake up. Am I sleeping or am I dead? You've slept long enough. Where, where, where am I? With me, and so you must work. Are you deaf? Well, thanks for the compliment. Do I look like death? Actually, I saved you from Madam Death. Oh, but you must have a reason then. Hmm. What is it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's not complicated. I wanted to get my bed cover back. You are Mother Holly. You're a clever young lady. I'm very happy it was you who brought back the bed cover. Why, if it had been Jacob, he'd have fractured every bone in his body. And where is he now? What's happened to him? We've got better things to do than worry about people down there, you understand. Christmas is here, and I haven't made it snow yet. <sighs> he took the largest bed cover with him, so there's no snow. <laughs> I'll help you. <sighs> Jacob told me everything I know, how it's done. <laughs> I'm sure he didn't tell you how he split the feather bed when he pounced on it, did he? It took me a week of sewing to get it repaired, you know. <laughs> But now you're with me, Elizabeth, and here you'll stay. I'm very fond of you. I'm sure we'll get on very well. I'm glad to help, but I can't stay. Somebody's waiting for me on Earth. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Jacob, you're both the same. You, you think only of yourselves, and I have to stay here alone. I'll keep you forever. <laughs> Don't cry. Darling, let's have a glimpse at what's happening below. Huh?
how beautiful the snow looks when it falls. Something like an enormous feather bed covering the earth. Please, Mother Holly, see what Jacob's doing. You are curious. <laughs> we can't see him yet. He isn't here. Let's see now. Where can he be? Ah! Oh, he's in prison. I can see him now. He's sitting behind bars. They've imprisoned him because of you. Look! <laughs> Sorry, but prison food isn't exactly like the fish we caught. It doesn't matter. At least I won't get fat. And so your bones will rattle in the wind when they hang you, eh, my lad? Oh, it's a shame, a youngster like you. I will not die until I found my Elizabeth. But how could you have let her out of your sight? I am certain that Elizabeth is alive. The judge's wife and daughter, they conspired against us. But what can I do from here? I'm sorry, but everything's against you. Man, the law is the law. Are you sure you looked everywhere? I checked the well myself and the forest. She's vanished. Mm. She's disappeared. We found nothing except her. Her clothes and they were wrapped around your body. Here, eat. Mm. Let me out for one night. I've got to know what the truth is. Oh, I wouldn't mind, but... I'll be back before the cock crows. Oh, you know how strict that judge is. If I let you out, he would send me to the gallows instead of you. So I've got to sit here doing nothing. There is one last hope for you. Well, what is it? When you give him the death sentence, if a young maiden comes along and agrees to make you her husband, you'll be granted a pardon. Hello? Then you can go and find out what happened to Elizabeth. If the other one isn't to your liking, although she may be more beautiful. <laughs> I only want Elizabeth. Elizabeth! In that case, the only bride you'll have is Madame Death. <laughs> That's what is meant by justice down there. And on top of that, your own father will judge him. I could tell him how it came about. If you'd only let me go back to Earth. I can't send you back to Earth, because from here, I'm afraid, there is no way to get back. Then whoever saves him from the gallows should be his bride. To save his life, I would gladly give him up. I'll help you a little bit, dear. Since you love him enough to be willing to give him up to save him, I'll permit you, exceptionally, to give Jacob a sign. The same one he sent you when you thought all was lost. You recall that, I'm certain you do. You can make snow already. Now, you must learn how to make a rainbow. It's not hard. I'll take care of Madame Death, but that's all I can do for you. Have one. Here he comes! the sledge, Jacob, and run away. Ah, uh, Mother Holly, finally, you haven't forgotten me, eh? A rainbow. Thank you, but I'd rather you found Elizabeth. You don't seem to care about two people who love each other. And now, before I sentence you to death by hanging, there is a custom in these parts which goes back many centuries, which we inherited from our ancestors and which we still observe. So be it. A custom which could save your life. It is your ultimate hope. Please speak now. If there is a maiden amongst you, prepare to take this young man as her husband and save his soul from eternal damnation. If there is, now is the time. Before the bell has tolled three times. Do you want him, Stephanie? How about you? <laughs> He's a clever and a strong lad. I want him! I want him! <laughs> oh, you don't. 
Dora? You? Yes, Dora, that was very good. Yes, Father, I want to marry him. That's very kind-hearted of you. Um, I am happy to announce that a member of the outraged family is compassionate, but I must ask the prisoner if he accepts this mercy. Jacob, I ask you, do you accept this young woman as your wife? Never. Are you crazy? <laughs> Don't cry. Your Honor, yes. He will be pardoned. <laughs> Joseph, you needn't guard me now. <laughs> but that's the way to the courtyard. Go upstairs now. Mm -hmm. Your clothes are ready. Yes, yes, yes. Give him the clothes, Michael. Here you are. Uh, oh. <laughs> and here are your boots. Yes, yes, very helpful. Thank you. I'll give you a hand. Uh, I'll get dressed by myself. I'm kind of shy. Oh. You guard me as if I were a treasure. Nobody's gonna steal me. <laughs> uh, I want to try out the horse. There's plenty of time for that, bridegroom. You can try out the horse and the bride after the wedding. You heard him. After the wedding. Cuckoo, you'd only fall down. I'll try him out. Bring out the horse. Get the horse. <laughs> Am I beautiful? <laughs> like a Madonna. Oh, yes, you are, Dora. <laughs> the horse is ready. <laughs> Into the saddle, Dora. <laughs> Stay where you are. Let's go. Up, la. Go ahead, lady. Well, how do I look? Oh, you look nice, like a cousin. <laughs> but now, let's see how you look. Jacob, we've been waiting for you. We both believed in you. 
You said we'd find what we were looking for in that field happens. No, Jacob, I was not lying. Why have I lost Elizabeth? Then tell me. But we will all be at your, your wedding. What are you talking about? A little patience, son. <laughs> you sneering monster! Now I'll find out what's going on. Well, don't hurt me. I'll tell you all I know. Ladies and listen. It's not my fault. I'm not responsible. Powder was on the cakes. Dora and her mother sprinkled it on to make you sleep. Sleeping powder? In the sugar, Jacob. That's why I was so bitter. Oh, I should have known. And then poor Elizabeth was thrown into the well. And why is it nobody could find her there? Where is she? Where did she disappear to? I had to cut her down, just as I'll cut everyone here down one day. Are you telling me that Elizabeth is dead? She is. She has left the earth. Then I don't want to live anymore. Come and fetch me from the caves. Ah, then you're mine at last, are you, Jacob? <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself, Cousin Death. You lied to him. You would never have taken him, never. He offered himself to you because you lied. Shame on you. Darling... Wake up. Come on. Mm. Pretty child. <laughs> He's in big trouble. What trouble? Tell me, speak. Jacob needs our help. Oh. Is his life in danger? Yes, exactly. Oh. But you told me that Madam Death was afraid of him. Oh, things have a way of changing. Listen, child. Jacob offered his life to Madam Death. It all depends on you. Only you can save his life now. Then, how can I get back? Uh, it's difficult, child. Very difficult, I assure you. But with love, you can do anything at all, can't you? I'm not afraid. I'll leave right away. I'll give you a nice spring morning for your journey. So nice out today. What a lovely day to die. It's time, Jacob. Come. Where is Madame Death? She should be here by now. Ah. <laughs> here I am. By right, I should not even grant you a final request, Jacob. Not only do you have Elizabeth on your conscience, but you then humiliated and deceived my Dora. As for my wife, you falsely accused her. But despite your threefold guilt, I'm prepared to grant a final request. Oh, yes. What would you like? Without Elizabeth, I don't want to live. My last request is to die rapidly. That's very odd. And if I refuse to fulfill it? If you refuse that request, then grant me another instead. Hang your wife and daughter. That's enough now. May you suffer in hell. <laughs> oh, Jacob. Jacob. You wouldn't have a mirror. Why? Pity. For once I'm wearing a tie. Hang him. Go on. The storm! The storm! Oh, it's dark! Elizabeth! It's Elizabeth! Look, look there! <laughs>
Where have you been, my daughter? I know where. He knows. <gasps> He's going to pay He's you. He's defied you place. once again. And it serves you right. Your troubles are only just beginning. He's going to be with you for a long time. Hmm. We'll take the parish funds as well. Oh. What's going on in there? Hurry, pack it all. Go on, take everything. Everything, yes. I was blind. I should have realized. All's well that ends well, Father. Oh, look here, Honor. What's all this? They've broken open the chest. With an axe. It's a disgrace. Oh, they didn't want to leave empty-handed. The parish funds as well. They have no shame. How can I look the parishioners in the face now? After them! Quickly! To the horses! Good idea. Come on! Saddle the horses! So, my good friend Mother Holly saved you. Not only me. If it hadn't been for Mother Holly's bed cover, you'd still have a noose around you. I'm going to wash it, and when we're married, we can sleep under it. Forever? Forever. <laughs> Why sleep under it? We'll fly with it. Mother Holly will provide the wind to take us around the world. Oh. <laughs> It's as if they'd vanished from the face of the earth. Don't worry, it's not that important, Father. The mill will bring us enough money to replace what was stolen. When will it be ready? Well, it's ready now. <laughs> Why haven't you started it up, huh? We were waiting until you were here, Father. Hey, give us a little wind. Flow! <laughs> Look, the blades are turning. That's a splendid. Oh, did you hear that? A mill and without water. Without water? Congratulations, my son. May your invention spread throughout the world. Here's the windmill. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh. Uh, it's turning and milling. <laughs> and grinding. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have good bread. There'll be no bread baked from that. But why? You'll have to ask Jacob why. <laughs> A cake for us. The circus! <laughs> the circus is coming! We fly through the air of angels! We die at night! And rise again in the morning! Well, this is our Jacob! Hopla! We've come to dance at your wedding. This one's for Elizabeth. <sighs> A peacock, wonderful. Oh. Hold on, Dora. Oh. Hold on tight. Oh. And this is for it's you. It's our wedding present. You've got your peacocks again. Help, <laughs> <laughs> Dora, Dora. Don't let go of me. I'm falling, I'm falling. Oh. I'm going higher and oh. higher. Oh. 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 We're flying. We're flying. <laughs> well, I'll try to catch us now. <laughs> I told you that the mill would earn us lots and lots of money. Where are they going? Wherever Mother Holly flies them to. Uh, you stupid fool. It's all your fault. All the money's gone. Nobody will marry me now. Why did you have to be so greedy? Stop that. No money, and so we won't be needing this any longer. Oh, my dress. My wedding dress. What am I going to wear if I do marry? Bad luck is.
All right, dear, you're right. special gift for you. I know you'll like it. A little wedding snow. Uh, uh, <laughs> Flower petals. <laughs> Thank you, Mother Holly. Thank you. I asked you when I was a child for snow on a summer's day. <laughs> Thank you for everything, Mother Holly. Bye. Ha, 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 ha. 